So hey guys, it's your boy King Kayan and we are back with another video. Now, what I want to talk about. I want to talk about a physical team. So we are over here in Polite Simon. And I want to talk about two groups mainly. I want to talk about West's Kung Fu group. And then I want to talk about uh, the Lone Dog group. Now, usually people go Bullet Time. And Bullet Time is a nice group. You know, especially when you have Lucifer and, and you have this friend Goku. West in this group works really well and and West is one of probably the best physical heroes just because of how many groups he ties into and who he ties into but I want to talk more about Kung Fu and Lone Dog so oh guys so let's talk about this Kung Fu group what it does West gives armor pen to all of these heroes so he gives our extra armor pen to Coco, Seelie Yoon, Saizo, Sharon, Chavez, uh, Smoke. But this team just doesn't have enough that I would say you could run a solo Kung Fu group. You know, people always talk about Max being the one that you want to buff West. So if you have a, if you have a West, you need a Max. Ah, no, you don't. It would be nice to have a, uh, have a Max but you don't need Max. Rather, you would need York. In this, and this is this is where West becomes the man because we're talking Max is in this group, but Max is not the one who's going to increase the damage that West needs. York is going to do that. So West is going to have extra armor pen for himself. And then he's going to have this massive attack boost from York. And why people don't run York, I don't know. So let's see. Like, let's look at this. West is going to have. Because I only want to talk about really, truthfully, West. So teleports another position. Deals is, deals big damage. That's big damage. Uh, quick draw, basic attack damage. West skill with dual wield weapons increases the damage of his basic attacks. Skill effect increases as your attack damage increases. So basic attack damage plus four thousand seven hundred and ninety-two which is really good you know big damage here plus 10,000 for free hits you know especially when the third one knocks back any enemy hit uh, and then Kung Fu World plus 600 armor pen you know and then the skin energy any uh, sorry energy chaser does extra damage to enemies in a fan shaped area in front of the hero if only one hero is in the area then the enemy will be silenced and knocked back that's a good skill. It's another knockback. And this is what this is what the Kung Fu group does. The Kung Fu group is more of a control group. Uh, amongst uh, the physical group. So, you know, knock up here. Pluses as well. She pluses if she's the, the group leader. Um, to the team. Yoon, knock up and knock back. Chavez, knock up. Uh, Sharon, knock up, you know, smoke, interrupt, Lee, sleep, Coco, armor dropping, and this is what Kung Fu does. So when you mix Kung Fu with another group, bullet time, you, you see like huge, huge, huge dropping of uh, damage and, and you will especially see it from a West. So you always see West mostly in physical teams. But it's where, 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 where does he get the most power? And it's in Lone Dog. So let's go have a look at York. What is York doing? So we come over to here and we're just going to run through York's skills. Combo Bomb, eh, it's not that much damage. Fires a succession of explosive rounds at random different targets. Exploding on impact and dealing AOE damage. Um, flamethrower, spews fire at enemies within a co conic area in front of him. Dealing physical damage. Now this is where it gets really interesting. Captain's Bounty. Cast randomly at one enemy hero, dealing physical damage and marking him or her. When the marked hero dies, all allied heroes will get some energy and a permanent AD boost. So they, he's going to boost the energy of his team. He's going to put everyone closer to ult. He's going to raise their attack damage permanently. Massive plus 
this is a plus and i want to and when i talk about physical i'm going to talk about pluses as well so battle fever york's encouragement gives all his teammates a physical attack power buff effect increases with base attack damage this is going to stack plus 3000 we're just going to call it 3000 i'm not going to worry about the 300 we're going to call it 3000 um that's a massive plus single power increases attack damage for heroes can stack with passive buffs effect increases with base attack damage plus five and a half so we're talking eight and a half if we add on that 300 we're talking almost nine thousand plus to to damage plus captain's bounty so we're talking a definite plus nine thousand to attack damage now if we, when you throw in west with the armor pen it's huge it's absolutely huge now his skin Casting basic attacks will raise AD for nearby allies and also bury a bomb beside the hero, which will explode after a time, dealing damage to and knocking back nearby enemies. So, damage increased, 3,802, attack damage increased, 1,412. So we're talking a plus 10,000 to attack damage from one character. And then he also has boost totem. Summons a boost totem to the side of the captain, which will periodically raise attack damage and ability power of teammates. Plus 1,000. 11,000. So when people tell you that boost totem isn't good, boost totem is really good when you have it on the right hero in the right team. So what should we be doing? What should we be doing when we're building this team? Now, I think Luthier is one of the key. I think... Yeah, I think you could run Max. I think you could run Max in a team with York and a team with West. Just because Max is in both of their teams. And Max does give more pluses. But I prefer Lufia because Lufia gives me control. You know? So, this control is just, for me, it's just more. And when I'm saying pluses as well lethal shots Luthor's outstanding leadership ability increases the whole team's physical attack power effect increases with base attack so that's another three and a half thousand so we're talking 14,000 added to attack damage um fresh power max health plus for 48,000 this this plus health is going to be more important than max's uh shield and, and aoe dropping because this is going to give your team more time to heal uh, endless volley is just her attack damage skill and if we look at fights so let's just alliance um alliance duel and we'll fight ud uh let's just go into this lineup so duel and we're going to go lufia west and York plus 11,000 to attack damage I'm gonna go Coco why not go Coco Coco is gonna drop the armor this team is gonna be able to tear through so this is burst heavy heavy burst so now I just need to speed up I'm not even gonna use Pierre even though Pierre is in Lone Dog I'm not gonna use Pierre or I should use Pierre, but I'm going to go Aurora because I just want that, that speed up to happen very quick. And I'm going to go Boost Totem and I'm going to put on York's Boost Totem. So 734k power against 724. So we got a, a 10k power swing. It's not much. At this level, it's not much. You know, you could lose to teams 40k to 100k underneath you if it's the right team. So what are we going to see here? So we see that Neza is out of this fight. We see that Saizo is dead. They just focus down on Saizo. We're going to see Honey. Is she dead? Yep, yeah, Honey's dead. We're going to see another pushback on Neza. Neza's going to do a oh, but there's no there's, there's nothing happening over here until this dummy, uh Coco's dummy fought Neza. Neza is down and even with this interrupt here York is not afraid. Look York is fighting one-on-one -on -one with a smoke. 
and this smoke is just going to keep outputting this keep outputting this and you know york goes down but we like we still got the armor drop here and the armor pin and smoke is down that leaves blisser bliss is gone and it will be the same effect no matter which way sometimes it will be aurora goes down so smoke will single out aurora aurora can last long enough that the rest of the team can just go destroy the rest of the, uh, the opposition's team coco goes down and then you're left with the three amigos who just output the damage and when we look at the damage 781 764 672 this team didn't come close look at this size of 36 000 damage nothing my aurora outputted more damage than this size of. You know, Smoke is doing some good damage because he was get, he was able to solo heroes, but there was just nothing in this team that said Smoke got made it like a plus four or plus five. So this team it focuses on killing off a, killing off a hero really fast and creating a five v four. So when this Smoke creates a a four v one situation no it's not a 4v1 it's gonna be a 3v1 because you're also gonna get rid of someone else before the smoke can get off and this pretty much happens with whatever team like so I'm gonna focus on teams that use smoke uh, and let's go here so a Lucifer an aerial you know we're using a physical team it's throwing out aerial should be shielding up but what happens? What happens in this team here that we're going to fight? And I think we're going to see the aerial drop. And I think we're going to see a Pierre drop, then a Neza drop, and then probably a smoke drop. And last drop will be probably the Lucifer. So Neza pushed away out of this fight. We're going to come here and we're going to see aerials dropping. Like we can, we, you can see it aerial drops and actually Lucifer's gone they focus down on Lucifer first but you can see it like when this smoke creates now he's creating a, a free a free v1 situation Coco's far enough that she didn't get hit by smoke Aurora goes down but everyone else can focus down. Smoke's now in the middle of a fight. He creates a situation. 1v1. It's against Lufia. It's a bad matchup. And Smoke loses. When you when you think about physical teams, think it just think about what you want. Now, so that was just an all legend lineup. And pretty much same damage. 769, 628, 501, 309. And people would say Coco is not that great. Coco drops the armor. West, York, Lufia, they clean up the rest. Aurora just, just there, is just there for speed up. And you know, we can fight many different lineups. Many, many, many different lineups with this lineup. Um I want to look for people with good power. Uh I want similar power, so song. We're not going to beat this lineup ever. Um, come on, let's see. I, I want similar power. Do we have anyone similar power? Um, nope. Nope. I, I, I just don't think we're going to get it. Simon's just way too ahead of power curves. How do we? How would we do against a team like this, though? We don't have any scorpion on this team. So how would we do? We might lose. Let's let's see what happens. So you'd be wanting to think like someone here would need Scorpion. You wouldn't be able to like run this like this brutal team off. So a team that has this energy drain. Let's see what happens. We push away Ufa. Can we focus down? This is this is what I want to see. This should be a wipe. It's not. Uh, we're going to get the clones. So we got rid of Ariel. He's creating situations now. We're going to see a lot of dropping. 
a lot of clones in here. No, we're going to win. We're going to win still. And you can just see, it's the three amigos now. So, and together, they win. It's, and it's going to be like this pretty much all the time. So if you want to run a physical team and you want a physical team that is going to put you, I would say, I'd say top 50. Top 50, low investment, like you could only focus on this. This would probably be the team that I'd want to run. Um, problems that you'd run into would probably be in Sky City, Lilith, you couldn't run uh, Lufia and West. So you'd need other damage dealers, maybe a mirror. A mirror would do you good. Um, maybe a pearl. A mirror and a pearl would do you good in that team. But this is what this is where I think people should be leaning to. If you if you want to go physical and you want to run a West, a Lufia, a Coco, and an Aurora, don't be leaning towards Little Red. Um, don't be leaning towards Max. Be leaning towards York as that slot. And you know if and if you really want, let's say, you want more pluses to this team, so you want more AD in this team, you could take away Coco, and you could you could insert the Max. You just have to p be prepared that your team might not output as much as you think because there isn't the armor drop. You could even run Honey in this team instead of uh, instead of Coco and go for West, go for her target in West and giving him the pluses in the basic attacks. You could do that, but the the three that you do not want to change would be Lufia, would be West, and would be York. And Aurora has to be there because you need speed up, you need the life still. So yeah guys, this is this is what I think if you're going for a free physical team, you should be looking at Lone Dog, Cross Kung Fu, um, Aurora in there, and Lufia in there. So guys, I hope you like the video. I hope it helps. Um, you know, when you're thinking about stuff. I would say if you're a physical user, do not run Sebastian. People run Sebastian for the, the quick energy boost, the speed up at the start of the battle. Don't think about speed. Think about big pluses. Speed is a nice plus, but Aurora gives you that speed up pretty much from the start of the fight anyway. Think about how you can add more AD, how you can drop armor. Think about making creating pluses in these places rather than creating pluses through speed. If you do want to run a speed lineup, you could run something like, and, and let's say you really want to run, um, what's their name? Little Red. I would think about something like Coco for the armor drop, uh, Pierre, Aurora, and Gridlock. I don't know how this team would, I don't know if this team beats this team that we just fought, but in this, you're, this, this Little Red can be any damage dealer you like. And all you're doing is you're just creating a big, huge plus to this team. So everything is about adding speed. Coco is just there for armor drop. And, and you can win. You might lose. But you're talking about an insane speed up uh, of Little Red. And she will just output. Now, Quinox could cause you huge, huge problems. Because if your team is cloned... It's not going to be great. And I think we get the win. Nope. We get we get control there. And we should have a loss. Even though Quinn has gone down. No. We, we, we're still going. I, I think we can do it. I f oh, come on. This is so close. Are we going to get this second life? Has it gone off? I just looked away from my screen. Are we going to get this second life? Okay, we're going to win. Oh, come on. I hate smoke. Smoke, don't do this to me. I don't want a timeout. I want the victory. Okay, yeah, there we go. Victory. 
so yeah it works it works and and it works better when you have a real damage dealer there so like if you put a york there um you're gonna see oh gosh pierre out damaged uh little red there but if you put like um a york there instead of little red like maybe you'd be seeing like 1.5 1.6 damage so there, there's a lot of possibilities um where you can like force through with a team like this that just focuses on speeding up and keeping this one person alive and and the team is just speeding up and healing and healing and healing and armor dropping and probably you'd run uh the boost totem on coco that would probably be the best or if you had the york it'd be york york is the first person you want to put boost totem on um and just take like big pluses through there but that's how that's cheating ways to do it um if you just want to be unimaginative or you just want just want to line up that is going to annoy people just go for this like huge speed up an armor drop and then one damage dealer it doesn't really matter who this damage dealer is it can be anybody you like it could be pearl it can be uh mira you could even put honey in and make gridlock the damage dealer there's it's just so much possibilities um that you can do but that's not what we do we want to build teams which create huge pluses so huge ad pluses uh that's a huge speed up plus but we want to create huge ad pluses armor drop pluses and things like this so guys i hope the video helps um and i'll see you on the next